Good morning, 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 good morning. Let's have us some tea. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Barbara Simmons. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's have us some tea. Good morning, Elder Lake. Ho, oh, oh, Leek. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's have us some tea. Oh, 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 oh. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's have us some tea. Sing that one more time. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's have some tea. Good morning. How's everybody? Good morning. I'm having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning. A wonderful, I'll say it again, a wonderful, wonderful uh, morning. Good morning. I'm going to say good morning to a few people. Linda Yarborough, William Brown, good morning. Bridget Dunn, Ella Francis, Linda Yule. I've said hello to Barbara. Uh, Kim, what's happening, cuz? Good morning. Um, Tony Figueroa up early this morning. Good morning, brother. Jamika Johnson. Um, ah, I just put it out of the way. Good morning, Sister Della Ball. Always good to see you up at it. Good morning, Rhonda Remo. How you doing? Good morning, Alice. I'm going to mess up that last name. Graf Grafrit? I messed up. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Wow, I was thinking last week, I was just riding along, I had finished up some work and I was riding and something hit me and um, I thought about um, influential people. I'm always, well not always, but a lot of times I talk about my dad, I've talked about my dad, I've talked about some friends and some men that have played a major role in my life, but you know what, wouldn't be here without mama, huh? Wouldn't be here without the ladies in my life. And they've been so impactful. So impactful. Good morning. Um, I, this, I wouldn't be where I am today without a lot of ladies that have played such a major role in my life. First being my mother. Um, without her, man, uh, there's a lot of tendencies, the things that I do. It's because of her influence. Cooking is one of them. She, she, she brought all of her kids into the kitchen. That was important. That was actually kind of like a family time for us sometimes. I just remember being in the kitchen with mom making a cake and me cracking eggs. Or mom and it, you know, me sifting flour for her or chopping the nuts for the pie. You know, I just remember doing a lot of those things. You know, we always had to do some dishes, right? Uh, but those things became part of who I am and what really made me think about it was the ladies in the community that really played a role I mean I come along during that time where respect was huge hmm? <laughs> respect was huge um, so I respected the ladies in the community I mean I had two aunts as a kid that lived on the street with me one directly across the street on Willoughby 
And then down the corner was my great aunt, Aunt Mary, um, who I had high respect for. They, they, whatever they said was golden. You know, they could discipline me. They could hold me accountable. And they, you know, and they, they would report back to mom. <laughs> You know, and a whole lot of other ladies on the street. They, you know, I probably can't even name of them, name all of them. But Miss Roxy was next door. Miss Ronella was next door. You know, Miss Miriam Bush uh, behind us. You know, there, there was Miss uh, Miss Marianne, Miss Manda. Oh my God, um, all these ladies was in the community. You know, Miss Mildred Simmons, Miss Letha May. All these. I mean, these were ladies that were in our community who held you accountable. You hear me? If, if they seen you do something wrong, they would call you out and say, you know what, you, you know, your mama don't approve of that, son. And they would get on your case. So I thought about, um, you know, Proverbs 20, I think it's 22, six. Yeah. Train up, to the, train up a child in the way you want them to go and they won't depart. I think that's, that's, that's so relevant, right? You know, I, th I think all those things that my parents and my mom and the ladies in the community did was part of raising us to be who we are today. And that's why we, I am that I am, because of those ladies, the impact that they played. And these were praying ladies, y'all. They prayed. <laughs> you know, these are ladies that was praying for us as we went down the street going somewhere, who cared, who truly cared about you, who, who cared about your well-being. Who, who, who wanted you to do right, who wanted you to be successful in life, you know, and now on that same community, I think there's maybe like three ladies that still live in, in that community. My mom is one of them, thank God. Uh, but they played a major role in raising me. So with that being said, I think we have to do a better job. Yeah, and I know it's tough now because we become different people where we don't want Everybody having a hand in, in, in raising our kids, but I think holding them accountable in their ways, in their day, daily activities is what's going to help us. It's what's going to make us better people. You know, I want somebody to hold my daughter accountable when she's out, out in the street. I'm always asking our teachers, how, how, is, you know, how is Lola's, uh, how does she act? How, how, you know, what's her mannerisms around you? Because I want to know. Um, I think that makes a difference because one day that's going to be so important. So... Um, that Proverbs 22, six is going to stick with me and, and thank God for, Hey sis, good morning. My sister, um, even my sister, she played a role in, in raising. I felt like she was like mom number two when I was a teenager, uh, mainly because I can always go there and ask her for something that mom wouldn't do for me. <laughs> but those, 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 those people, you know, I got cousins and ladies that, that I love to death because of the impact that they the love that they show and i think um, mothers have been so nurturing they're, they're, they're you know they're the nurturers of the earth you know that's that's one of the reasons god put them here i feel um so where does that you know you know it takes a community a, a village to raise a child it's a, i think you know it's a it's, it's old proverb really uh, i think it's an african proverb um but it's so crucial that we all help to raise a child, give them positive motivation. You got to discipline, but you got to have balance. They got to have positivity. I think positivity helps change the world. It can't all be negative. So give some negative input and tell them when they're doing wrong, but pat them on the back and encourage them to do better when they're doing the right thing. That's what we have to do. We got to have a good balance. So, hey, if nothing else today, you know, if you know, if you see one of those ladies in the community that you grew up with. Uh, miss so and so, you know, and we gave them handles. Everybody had it. It wasn't, you know, Ronella. It wasn't Willoughby. It was Auntie. You know, it was Mrs. You know, you know, you addressed them properly. And, you know, and I could just, you know, just say this as a, as a close out. Um, I could see Miss Manda right now. You know, she, she would be going to the grocery store, going to the mailbox. She'd have a hat on. She'd have a dress on. She would have an apron on, man. She would have an apron on, going somewhere with an umbrella on a sunny day, going down the street on a mission. But it was always respect for those ladies in the community. And uh, without this, we wouldn't be where we are, man. 
we wouldn't be where we are. And thank God for those ladies in the community that made a difference in my life. So thank them. If you see some of them, they're still around today. You tell them, you call them, you go and see about them and make sure they're okay. Good morning, y'all. Oh, I forgot to have, tell you about my tea. I tried a new tea. It's called Tea Pigs. Ah, Tea Pigs. Boom. I picked it up at uh, the Fresh Market. Ah, it's unbelievable, too. It's uh, licorice and peppermint. I don't need sugar. I don't need honey. Ah. Just making my day. So that's my, my thoughts that I want to share you with you today. Proverbs 22 and 6. And it takes a village, y'all. We, 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 we got we to gotta, gotta get our kids raised. And, and I need help. Help me with mine. And I'll help you with yours. And we'll all have a smile on our face. Go ahead and smile. It's okay to smile. Hey, if you don't mind, go out. Sing with me today. Is it okay? Come on. Everybody's. Stand up, walk around, and, and sing with me. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's have us some tea. One more time. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's have us some tea. Have a wonderful day. Put a smile on your face. Make somebody smile today. Proverbs 22, 6, y'all. Love you. Respect mom. Take care of these wonderful ladies in our lives. Bye-bye.